Welcome to another insightful episode of Emerging Insights, where we delve into the world of health research and innovation in Malawi. Today's episode is particularly special as we turn our focus to a groundbreaking initiative, the Clinical Research Excellence and Training Open Resource, or Creator Building. My name is Tisomo Chihana. Stay with us. Now that the creator has been launched, we are stepping into a future where these successes are just the beginning. Creator is said to elevate our research and training capacities, enabling us to tackle the health challenges of tomorrow with even greater impact. Join us as we explore the story behind Creator, its vision and the incredible potential it holds to transforming healthcare both here in Malawi and across the globe. Winston Churchill once said that the further backward you can look, the further forward you're likely to see. So let's begin by exploring the origin of Creator. How did this vision come to life? What inspired the creation of a facility designed to enhance clinical research and training? To answer these questions, we'll hear from Professor Stephen Gordon as he reflects on the journey that led to this monumental achievement. Creator stands for Clinical Research Excellence and Training Open Resource. So the Creator building is very carefully designed. It's very carefully designed to deliver its objectives. And the most important part of it is the Training Open Resource, the, the ground floor where anyone and everyone should be welcome. There should be training, there should be discussion, there should be meals, there should be laughter, but most of all there should be brilliant ideas. And as people are trained, they will, they will form questions and they will go up from the ground floor into the first floor, which will be the first postgraduate library in Malawi. A library without books, but with excellent internet resources. All those books are now on, on, the, on the World Wide Web. We can access them. Uh, we can access training, we can access lectures. So people training in the ground floor and then exploring their ideas in the library will form new research groups. We have big research tables on the second and third floor. And these research tables have researchers of all cadres around the table. It might be nurses, physios, doctors, statisticians, program managers, public health experts, epidemiologists, social scientists, all around the table addressing the big questions that matter. The big questions that matter are climate change, are nutrition, are the futures for our children. How can we get rid of infectious disease? How can we make life as long as possible, but also as high quality as possible? So in our building, training open resource on the ground floor, library on the first floor, together with video suite and other facilities, research groups on the second and third floor, and then cutting edge laboratory techniques. We don't want to have to send our samples somewhere, somewhere to get things done. When COVID was here, the first COVID diagnostics were done in Malawi. Yeah. And that's the way it should be for any new disease or for any disease or for any research question. We should ask our first questions here. So what's, what's the future for Creator? So we had a vision of postgraduate education and research. We shared it with friends and colleagues. We expanded the vision 
we refined the vision, we made a library, we made research space, we made labs. And here we are, we have a building outside our windows. So we are at the end of the beginning. From what used to just be a concept to something real, Creator is now officially launched. We caught up with Professor Henry Mandumba, director of MLW, during the launch to hear his thoughts on the future and here's what he had to say. Um, so this, this is a game changer for MLW, uh, not only because we have um, new floor space for offices um, and labs, but it's the uh, opportunities that Creator brings uh, in terms of uh, how much research, how much more research we can do, but also uh, the training that we can offer. So uh, the fact that we've got more lab space means that we can expand our research uh, to include areas that we haven't really started looking into, mental health, for example, uh, climate change, uh, and non-communicable diseases. So that gives us more space to do that. But more importantly, um, the training component. Creator is supposed to be a, a facility that offers postgraduate medical education, uh, linking, you know, MOW with the hospital more closely. So we are anticipating we can have uh, the postgraduate clinical trainees coming through the gates of MOW to use Creator, uh, you know, every day, um, especially the postgraduate library. But more importantly, uh, you have the ground floor, which is the uh, you know, uh, trading uh, open resource where people can meet, discuss ideas, uh, and plan the way forward. So you can, you can see that the uh, immense opportunities that Creator will offer in terms of what can be done, but also the networking uh, possibilities and interactions, uh, you know, just great. So this is, this is going to um, take MOW to another level. Creator isn't just a building, it's a vision realized. A vision that builds on MLW's legacy of groundbreaking research. The real power of Creator lies in its potential to advance research and training. We spoke with some of the trainees who will be working here and the excitement is contagious. Let's hear from them about what excites them most about Creator and how it will help them achieve cutting-edge research that could change the health landscape for Malawi and the global community. My name is Patrick Kalonde. I am one of school who has a PhD in Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine. I am based in the Malawi Liverpool Camp Program. I am a researcher in the drone. I am a drone. Kumazibanga prosesi, kuchua ni kajote zizi wakuti zinyazama plastiki zizi patipo, kumasu kutuwa zizi upeka chofi zizi wakutani kumiyo ya antu. Chua ni kajote zizi wakuti zinyazama plastiki zizi patipo, kumasu kutuwa zizi upeka chofi zizi wakutani kumiyo ya antu. Chua ni kajote zizi wakuti zinyazama plastiki zizi patipo, kumasu kutuwa zizi upeka chofi zizi wakutani kumiyo ya antu. Chua ni kajote zizi wakuti zinyazama plastiki zizi patipo, kumasu kutuwa zizi upeka chofi zizi wakutani kumiyo ya antu. Zima pekuwa mbiji ni mbiki si waifi, antu mbanga science, first science ni so vuta wambi. Andi kumawona mwina mtu hina uti anapanga kari mwina PhD, agu gamba kuti, ah, chaku chaku tisiji kutega, o napanga kuti yonu zikuwa mwote, zima wasa jini mbiki, suwati matopeza antu kuti kumafu, sama fuso. Kumafu hivi ni kupuzi sidu wa zinuzina, ndia antu hina ametu wanga tuwa fanana. Kwenye sila bobo, indona ngati kuti nyumba mene ya kilieta, ikubwe sama mbili pindu pa kusinta medi wa pangila science kuna kumarawi. Zaka za mbuyo ambiti makenza kuti, antu wama panga science, research, kuti mwina zingu panga publish mapepa, kuma panoba, zimene antu wakatu kambi ya nakambili kuna 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 kuti kwa hindi tinga pita banji stepe yina kuonje zila kuti science yi tamuna wakatila mwina kubanga mwina antu ena kubambisa mwina vini ma business ya mene ma business is to oti mwina antu kuma kusichiru nore jimene apanga ya science ndiku kasi ntadi zinto mwaji sanzo ineo ndiku mapanga project ina yake kuchuki ajaka jata imene ti mapanga mwoni hita mitengo imene bungwe la malayo liver program program na zara pa pila mwina nje andi chimeti mapanga ndiku kukwisa nchito teknoji ya madroni kuona kuti mitengo ingati mene apanga survive Kwa hindi nga jatu, siku nguwa wana kutu doni kupanga zimene zozo kuma kuna kutu kuti Ti kwa sopanga jani kuna kutu kupanga kiti service yoti antwena Akwa zaifi ni umabili kani drama kutu munga hapangiri So nyumba ya kilieta iti tanza kwa mbili kuti Ma project nga ramene oo azichitika msaansi yatu kumaye unoko Nyumba ya kilieta ikutipata zinsosia nasi ya na munga Munyibamu na muli library Library mene yotu si matiki dua 24-7 ili watsegula Andi kwa ifa mene tupanga skulu imi ndo opportunity ya kuwambia uti kwa kumabeza access ya mali sosia zi uti kwa kumabeza denga kuona kutu antwena wapanga jani kwa 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 k
Tutina kwa mpa suku mawa nukudua antu ina wapanga jani. Maiko ina wapanga banji zintuzi. Andi, even tika limba zintuzi atu so tita wapanga publish mini mchamu. Kutina swaziwe renga. Tika pa maganzo antu ina kutumina kusana zimetu kwa mpa zeti. Kwa sabi kukwa we renga sukona kutukudi tinga pange banji. Nde nyumba mene nitona nga kayo tandisa. Ndiyo tandisa kwa mbili pangani mene. My name is Agnes Lagudzala and I am a third year PhD student. I'm registered with the University of Liverpool. I'm based here at the Malawi Liverpool Welcome Program. My work aims at looking at the antibodies to profile them to see which ones are protective. So for those which are protective, we would like to, de to, de to design vaccines that can work as those the protective antibodies uh, work. As a trainee, I'm so excited because the work that I have learned, I did mostly of them in other countries. So as the creator is here, it expands the place. It gives me the opportunity to bring back to bring the technology that I learned to this place like the technology transfer so I'll be able to do the work that I did in other countries here so I am so excited that I will not be I will not travel to other countries to do this but I'll do them here locally Their passion and drive reflect the transformative potential of this initiative. I know most of you would have loved to have been there with us at the official opening ceremony, but unfortunately space wouldn't allow. So let's go down the memory lane to a time during the ceremony where we witnessed a powerful poetic performance that beautifully captured the hope, expectations and journey of creator. Let's revisit the moment. Rise brick by brick like the tale of a love story Crafting at your pace, sincerely seeking your place in this world Making sure you are heard, making sure they listen Eyes on you and your love story with architecture Your scientific labs are where you, you express your love How you breathe and the comfort of structural engineering and scientific research Eyes on you we bear witness to the rising of your story. Each and every step you take, you speak of the hope you are creating for Malawi, for Africa. You are honoring the presence and existence of African health scientists, empowering the collaborations that ensure that Africans themselves carry the power into their own hands. Creator, creating capacity, shaping the future of generations to come, of science researchers, contents of new groundbreaking technology, the unveiling of unimaginable dreams. This is your gospel of a new creation, a powerful stand against our greatest of fears. There you go, giving Malawi a new face, branding her capable, breathing life into her vision of self-resilience, her independence, nurturing her labs, into a place where hope is structured, where hope stands strong and unshaken, letting the rest of the world know that Malawi is a place where hope is structured, where hope stands. Yes, here you are, empowering the partnerships of leaders and science experts, waving flags of strong solidarity and sustenance. Here are the pores of sound research skills responding to the gaps of our health systems, the systems that our health system could not bear to handle, blooming, blooming towards the development of science research. Eyes on you, eyes on you, we see you, we welcome you to this place where structure is the embodiment of our development. You are a superstructure, the genesis of a brand new story, bringing great minds to task, carrying flags of expertise, labs that will break down limitations and knowledge gaps. We see the light, we see the answers, we see the solutions, we see the dreams coming to life. We welcome you. Thank you. was great, wasn't it? Now, at the heart of Creator is a commitment to innovation. 
The innovation section at MLW plays a crucial role in integrating new technologies and methodologies into healthcare training and research. I had the opportunity to sit down with Dr. Alice Mbewe, the lead of the innovation sector. My name is Alice Mbewe and I'm the Translation Science Champion. Well, there are several benefits for the Innovation Hub to research in Malawi and I'll narrow it down to three. The first one, this means that we have an opportunity to develop locally relevant health innovations, which means that we as Malawians will be at the forefront for actually solving our health problems. The second one, it means that the MRW researchers will also be at the forefront for research innovations. And the last one means there's an opportunity to commercialize some of the innovations that we conduct at MRW. This means when somebody develops a prototype, a diagnostic tool, or anything that is a health innovation, a medical device, there's an opportunity to actually commercialize it, to put it on the market. Creator is poised to become a beacon of innovation, not just in Malawi, but across the global health community. From advanced simulation rooms to collaborative spaces, this facility is where tomorrow's healthcare solutions will take shape. As they say, a building is just a building without the people that use it. So we went around to have fun with some of the employees at MLW, where we asked them to take on the challenge of describing the creator in one word. And here's what they had to say. Exquisite. Technological. Fantastic. Nice. Awesome. Fabulous. Amazing. Magnificent. Protected. Future. Excellent. Innovation. Creativity. Impressive. <laughs> Bambande. Elegant. Splendid. Beaming. Transformative. Beautiful. Great. Attractive. Picturesque. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. So that's all we had for you today. But as we wrap up today's episode, it's clear that Creator is more than just a new addition to MLW's facilities. It's a symbol of MLW's commitment to improving health outcomes in Malawi and across the world. With Creator, MLW continues to lead the way in health research and care, setting new standards and creating a future where innovation, training and collaboration thrive. So much as always, it and winning at the Gaze and Tome and Achidam Pumi, Adan Kamafons from episode Yamis Water, and to Amina on Domem Wow and the two Basipa, Abagani Mayano. Congratulations to you all. For those who would like to win next time, please answer today's question, which is What does the abbreviation creator stand for? Hodi Mau Ogudi creator, Ama Emilia Jani. Remember to send your responses to the number below and please indicate your post office box address, your gender and your answer. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. You're with me, Chisovo Chihana. Goodbye.